Okay guys, here's what we're gonna do. So I got a dog kennel on the table drying with, with the fresh paint. So to utilize my time, I wanna make a shop upgrade. Today's shop upgrade, TV from my bedroom that I stole. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only Eagle Double G. Hope nobody gets upset about that. Up on the wall above that toolbox. Uh, I'm gonna learn you a couple cool tricks along the way on how we're gonna do this. We're gonna use a French cleat style. Cool thing about this project is it's only going to take us about 20 minutes and we're not buying one of those fancy TV mounts. Oh no, we're making it. SFF Woodcraft style. All right, so once you have your pieces that you're gonna use for the mount uh, cut to a good size, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the table saw and we're actually gonna cut a 45 degree angle. So raise your blade up. Bring it to your 45 degree. So now that we have our 45 degree angle cut on our board that we're gonna use for the mounts, we're going to actually need three pieces for this mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into three equal pieces. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang this piece up on the wall like this. This piece will actually be mounted to the back of the TV and will slide down and fit perfectly for the support. We're gonna mount it on the wall because it's a concrete block wall. We're gonna use these guys, tap cons. We're gonna use a hammer drill to drill the holes and we'll put these in. How we're gonna do this here so everything fits nice and flush. We're gonna take the drill press over there and we're gonna countersink some holes to mount our screws. We'll transfer these holes to the wall, drill them, mount this piece, and then I'll show you how to mount the other piece on the TV. All right, so what you wanna do is make sure that uh, for the holes to go through the wall mount, uh, drill bits just slightly bigger than your fastener so it'll slide through, no big deal. Now we're gonna take this Forstner bit, it's a half inch Forstner bit, and we're gonna countersink these holes so our fasteners fit flush. Now the cool thing about the Forstner bits the head of those is exactly one half inch deep. So I know that if I just take that down flush, that I've got a half inch uh, recess there to accept the fastener head. Now the head of the fastener won't interfere with any. And as usual, when you move the toolbox out of the way, probably ought to take a second to clean up. I'll tell you one thing though, having this sweet dust separator uh, really helps out in a wood shop. So before I moved the toolbox out, I made a mark uh, right here on the wall where the top of the lid is. So I know to hang the TV above that. So real quick, I'm gonna take the measurements of the TV. I'm gonna lay out, I'm gonna lay out where I want the mount to go on the wall and we'll poke some holes in the wall. All right, so now I have the wall mount holes laid out on the wall, and I'm gonna use my hammer drill uh, to drill through the masonry with a masonry bit. So, hammer time. <laughs> All right, 
right, so here's one of the things that I learned y'all through this process. One, anytime you're drilling into cinder block or a brick wall, uh, if you're not holding a lot of weight, it's a lot easier to go through these mortar joints to put your fasteners than it is to drill through solid block or brick. And nine times out of 10 for light loads, it's just as well. And nine times out of 10. <laughs> And as long as your weight is, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's this, take seven? <laughs> All right, so here's one of the tips that I'm gonna learn y'all today with mounting this TV. Anytime that you're having to drive fasteners into a cinder block wall or a brick wall, it's much easier to drill through these mortar joints. As long as the load that you're putting on the wall is not super heavy, this is just fine and much quicker to drill. Okay, so we've got our holes drilled in the wall. Uh, so now all we gotta do is use these tap cons and fasten the wall mount to the wall. Make sure when you're doing this, and this is one of the critical parts of this, that you get your wall mount level. That way your TV doesn't hang like it's drunk. So now what we got to do is make the mount for the back of the TV so that will slide on the wall mount. We got to go through these small mounting holes on the TV with an M4 screw. Now the problem with this is it's very easy to mismeasure these just a little bit uh, and these are very fine threaded holes so it's hard with any misalignment uh, to get your stuff. So I'm going to learn you an awesome trick on how to line these up perfect. All right, so. The trick to laying these holes out properly is all on this blue tape. All this is is painter's tape. Take your tape, stick it across your mounting holes. Make sure it's stuck fairly well. Take you a punch, punch your hole. Take your tape, peel it off there and guess what? Your holes are on exact center lines of your mounting holes. Now you transfer your tape to your mount, mark your mount, and you're good to go. All right, so what we did, if you notice that the TV has this raised section right where the fasteners go in. So I took my countersink bit, that Forstner bit that you saw uh, with the wall mount, and just recessed my holes a little bit. And this should fit, boom, right down there. Like that, perfect. Took my screw and washer. My screw started. Next screw. Notice they lined up perfectly because of my fancy blue tape trick. Be careful not to over tighten your fasteners. Uh, you don't need to hulk up on these things. Just snug them, it'll hold. This is what the TV uh, mount looks like and what's going to happen is this 45 degree angle is going to sit perfectly on the 45 degree angle of the wall mount. Let's hang this bad boy and look at it. Just like I planned it. So here's the point. You don't need the fancy TV mounts. Uh, you don't need all that nonsense. This was made out of a scrap piece of one by four pine from another project. I did have to go buy a, a $2 pack of screws. Came with like 12 screws, I needed two. A couple washers, boom, 20 minute project, shop TV. All right, now that we have the TV up on the shop wall, I'm trying to solve a problem that I know is gonna happen, and that is, how am I not gonna lose the remote? So I thought about building me a remote holder, nice cool little project. And then I got to thinking, you know what, that metal toolbox is sitting right under the TV. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. We're going to take this CA glue and activator. This stuff is awesome. If you don't know what it is, uh, you can get it at the hardware store. This activator speeds up the curing time of the glue. So this is a really strong super glue. And once you spray the activator on it, it will set in like 30 seconds. I've got this little earth magnet. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put me a drop of CA glue right here on the remote. That's all it's going to take. I'm gonna spray some activator on the magnet. 
I'm gonna hold that on the remote. And in just a couple seconds, that magnet's not going anywhere. Watch this. Remote control storage right there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a couple cool tricks that I like to use around the shop. Uh, now I've got the TV in here, so I won't miss a Kentucky game or any uh, cool instructional videos on YouTube. So uh, if you liked it, like, subscribe on YouTube. Please be sure to go over to my Instagram page, at SFF Woodcraft, and uh, give that page a follow because I am so close to 300 followers. I want to blow that page up. So help me blow the page up uh, and keep watching content because I'm going to keep putting it out.